for today's session, I'll be teaching you how to do basic robotics using Tinkercad. Okay, so all you need to do is to um, create a free account in Tinkercad.com, and once you already created your account, um, you can see your dashboard. It will look like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a basic circuit. So just click circuits, and here you can see you need to create a new circuit. So these are all the circuits I already created before. So let's try and create a new circuit. Okay. So what we're trying to do here is to create a basic circuit design that can actually light up an LED. Okay. So here, these are the components. Okay. So you can select other components. You can select all components here. Yeah. So these are the components. All right. So let's go back to basic. Okay, so we'll be needing um, an Arduino Uno R3 here. This is the available uh, board. So you just click and drag here in your editor window. And also, of course, we need the breadboard. All right. And also we need a resistor for our LED. So the main purpose why we're adding a resistor is to control the flow of, you know, electricity coming from our uh, Arduino okay and also we have remember that guys by the way uh, when we say resistor it doesn't have any polarity which means to say it doesn't have a positive or negative you know um, you can change the resistance one and you know the ohm so yeah let's just disregard, disregard this part and now we're ready to add the LED so uh, here you can see there are two legs so the cathode and anode Anode means this is the positive uh, leg, and cathode means this one is the negative leg, okay? So we can change the color of LED here. Also, we can change the name. So for the meantime, uh, let's make it um, blue, okay? So let's uh, rotate this LED by just simply selecting the LED, and you can see here, rotate. All right, in such a way that it will line up with our resistor, just like that. So you can see here that the negative leg is actually inserted to our breadboard negative power um yeah our pins, okay so just click this anode the first leg and connect it to your our resistor so it doesn't really matter where you put this um wire here is okay if you put here in a6 or b6 or c6 as long as it is actually you know line with the resistor so let's just put it here a6 okay so we can change the color of our um, wire let's make it um, red for the meantime because our LED is red okay and also of course we need to connect our um, LED so let's just um, click here J6 and connect in our pin um, the default pin is pin 13 all right just like that and we need to change the color of our wire, wire and make it red okay all right now we are ready to um get a gnd or gnd means negative wire from our arduino and connect it to our red board so just like that as you can see it's you know, and make it black so guys always remember that when we say negative or gnd use a proper wiring color which means it's always and should always be black okay but you know it doesn't matter what color it is it won't affect the program it won't affect the performance but when we say proper circuit um we need to use black okay so now we're ready to start simulation just start simulation and you can see here our led is actually lining up all right so let's see the code you simply click the code here and you can see um, you can use blocks or blocks and text or text so now I'm going to use text Let's press continue okay so there are actually two main parts of an Arduino program first we have the void setup and second the void loop now when you say void setup this part uh, this is where you are going to put your initialization your variables your declarations okay so here when you say void loop this means that it is where you put your main program and it will actually run the program 
repeatedly as long as the condition is correct and as long as your bread or your Arduino is um, turned on. Okay. So um, you notice that we have here the first line, pin mode 13, camera output. Um, when we say pin mode 13, camera output, this means that whatever is inserted to our pin 13 here, so we insert an LED, inserted an LED. So here we say pin mode 13 camera output, this means that an LED, LED is an output component because you know uh, it emits light, okay? So we use 13 here because we use 13 here, right? So um, here, first two lines, digital write 13 comma high and delay 1000. It means to say that we are going to turn on our LED for one second. So 1000 milliseconds is equivalent to one second. And the next two lines here, actually digital write 13 low, this means that we need to turn on or it will turn on our LED for about one second also. Okay, remember guys that um, Whatever pin you use, for example, this one, we use 13. That's why we use 13 here. So in case we did not use 13 and we use 12, okay, let's say 12 here, 12 here. And if we start simulation, there, um, our LED here will not turn on. So let's test. All right, so as you can see, it will not turn on. Stop simulation. And let's put it back to 13. Okay. Now, uh, let's play with the delay. Let's make it 5,000. And this one, let's make it um, like 500 milliseconds. And let's start simulation. Okay, as you can see, five seconds, five seconds. And turn off for, yeah, that's it. So that's, that was quick, okay? So that's basic um, um, programming using uh, Arduino, okay? All right, so let's go back to our main design and let's try to add more LEDs and resistors. So just drag and drop, okay? One more, so, all right. And let's create another LED here and let's change the color to orange and rotate. Right. And put it here and click and click. Let's change the color of our wire, make it orange also. And another LED. Rotate and drop it, drop here and wire and let's change the color to um make it a green where's the green 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 yellow let's make it yellow okay this one let's make it yellow all right oh no this is orange this is yellow all right now we are ready to connect our second LED let's put it into pin twelve and Change the color to orange and this one to pin. Let's make pin 11. Okay, all right. Pin 11 and change the color to yellow. Okay, so we don't need to add extra wire for our GND because as you can see, once you connect it here, everything will be affected here. Okay, so let's go back to our main code. And of course, we need to declare all the pins that we use to 13. 12 and 11 okay so let's just copy paste this one but first let's just change this to 500 for our testing okay copy and paste paste and and paste and let's change this 13 make it 12 make it 12 and 11 and 11 so 13 12 and 11 13 12 and 11 so these are the pins that we use so we need to declare so let's check 13 12 and 11 now we are ready to start simulation. Okay, red, orange, and then yellow. So guys, that's how you actually create a basic um, circuit design using Tinkercad, and that's how you create a program, add program to your Arduino. Okay, um, the same process when you use an actual Arduino kit. Okay, I hope you learned something, and I'm excited that you try this on your own. And let me know if you, you know, actually did it well, okay?